Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Society, the art and science of Watts Collection. Uh, today what I want to do is something a little different in what I've done before. And this is to compare a very popular uh, watch and type of watch with almost equivalent by watchmakers. In other words, uh, take a watchmaker brand for different ones of this. And I'm, I'm going to do it with the Rolex Submariner. Now the Rolex Submariner is, uh, I guess, almost, you know, legendary among uh, Rolex fans. It's got a caliber 3130 by Rolex. Uh, the list price is 7900 I don't know if that means anything. And this is a new one. I know there are lots of different uh, references on this. Uh, but this is the newest one that I could find. It's on the Rolex site. Now, the the three independents that I took was RGM, which is abbreviation for uh, Roland G. Murphy, uh, who's an American uh, watchmaker. Uh, and the second one is Roger Dubry, which is a recently departed uh, watchmaker. He died in 2017. And finally is F.P. Jorn. Uh, and so I, I, I took watches from sort of each one of these categories and, and see how it compares with the Submariner. Now the first one by RGM it is, is called the RGM 300 Pro Driver Blue Series 2. And it's got supernova uh, looms and so forth with it. Uh, I think it's a good looking watch. I like blue. The the interesting thing about this, um, Murphy makes some of his own movements based on American uh, Hamiltons, I think, and some of the older um, American movements, uh, uh, mechanical movements. This one, though, is an ETA 2892-A2. Now, he has RGM-ETA, uh, which simply means that he did something to it, and I'm not quite sure what, but uh, Roland Murphy. Now this one is about half, uh, a little more than half of what you'd pay for a, uh, a Rolex Submariner. This is the new price on that. And it's uh, it's pretty much the same kind of functions. Uh, it does have a date, uh, and I chose the one without the date, not to have anything against the date, but I thought that would be a little better. Now, the next one is the Roger Dubuis Easy Diver. Now, uh, this one, there I don't think there are any more new ones. Uh, basically, uh, this is the same one I got, and I picked the lowest price that I could find on Chrono 24. Uh, it's a 68.50, uh, which isn't that much different from the um, from the Rolex. Uh, on the pre-owned price, the pre-owned price, the lowest pre-owned price I found on a on a uh, Rolex Submariner, and again, it could have been a an older model. I'm not positive. Okay, I'm not a Rolex guy. Sorry, uh, but it was 6,800 pre-owned. Now, um, and these probably are the most equivalent. Uh, the caliber RD14 is a Roger Dubuis manufacturer, designed, and everything else. Uh, this one has the small seconds instead of the second seconds, center seconds. I actually like the center seconds better, but that's the way it is. Now, in terms of diverability, I'll put it that way, this one has the uh, rubber strap instead of the steel strap or the steel bracelet. And, um, I, you probably a more practical in the long run is the uh, is the bracelet because most of the divers are desk divers. <laughs> they don't, they're not real divers. Uh, but I use this a lot for what amounts to me as a sports, and that's going for for you know for walks. <laughs> and that's it. And you, get, you know your wrist gets all hot and you know yucky. And, uh, but you know, that's not bad for a, a metal bracelet either. Uh, a lot of people, uh, the, the, the design of the Roger Dubuis, some people love it, some people hate it. The, 
the Submariner is very much of, to me, is a non-offensive uh, one. I'm not crazy about the Mercedes hour hand, but that's, <laughs> that's me. It's nothing other than that. Uh, but of these two, uh, I like them both. Uh, I, I happen to like the Roger DeBuy better because it was by a known contemporary actual watchmaker. And I know who made it and I know who designed it and so forth. But, uh, I mean, when you look at these two watches, um, I, I think they're, they're interesting choices. Now, people are going to talk about, well, what about the resale value? Well, you know, <laughs> these things have been going up. This was a lot more than what I paid for mine, so it can happen. Now, the final one is probably this particular watch was by F.P. Jorn, the uh, automatic reserve titanium was designed for a triathlon uh, runner. Uh, to me, it, it feels very, very light. I've, I've had these before. I have on my um, FP Jorn Cronenet uh, Souverain, and it's got heft to it that I like. And I think I'd probably like the heft in the Rolex Submariner more than the really light uh, FP Jorn Automatic Reserve uh, Titanium. Great watch, great movement. And it's a very much of a purpose built for triathlons, for actually doing something with it. Uh, Thirty-seven thousand nine hundred dollars, just like you know, thirty thousand dollars over what the uh, what the Rolex is. So they're really hard to compare price-wise. Anyway, those are those are three comparisons, and I thought I'd bring those up and. Uh, I get your feedback on that, and uh, let's see, like to discuss it. Uh, three are by known watchmakers, and one is by whoever makes the Rolex <laughs> movements at the Rolex factory. Okay, that's all for now, and until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Outside, the art and science of watch collection. Be safe, be careful. <laughs> Making this, there's a hurricane coming up the coast. I guess it'll be a tropical storm that uh, by the time it gets here. Anyway, take care. And if you like, this is an invitation to subscribe.